Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. So about a year or two ago, I bought loads of laptop batteries that were apparently dead. And I've shown you they're not dead at all. So I stripped all these 18650 cells out, and I started doing various different things. Um, I started charging them, discharging them, and I made a lithium cell capacity checker, all that sort of stuff. This is my mass charging device, which was uh, quite heavily criticised, really. But, um, you know, I, I use it regardless, and um, it works perfectly for me. I can charge 15 cells at a time, just with my DC power supply. I set the power supply to around about 4.3 or 4.2 or whatever, um, depending on the leads, the resistance of the leads. Not these ones, but the other leads. And it works perfectly. Anyway, so what this video is actually about, it's about dead cells. So in all the time, in the year or whatever, that I've been using 18650s and all this sort of stuff, charging them and discharging them and all that, this is the first one that's died. And I don't know why it's died, but it has. So of all of the time I've been using them, this is the first one that I've actually somehow killed. Or it's died while I've been using it or whatever. Now, at the very start when I bought these cells, I think I threw away about five or six or something like that. I can't really remember. Um, but of the ones that were good, um, you know, at that time, none of them have been thrown away. This is the first one after, after a year. So I thought I'd show you, um, you know, try and give you some clues as to what is going on here and, and what's actually happened to it and whatever else. So to start with, if I get my multimeter, uh, we'll start investigating this problem, trying to find out if we've got any clues or or whatever. First things first, the voltage. What's the voltage? Voltage is 0 0.45 volts. What's the resistance? It's greater than 200 ohms. <clears throat> it's greater than 20k. Okay. So the resistance is over over 140 ohms, which is a hell of a lot of resistance. So what else can we try? <coughs> Let's see if we can draw any amperage. So it's only 0 0.5 volts. But let's see if I can draw anything from it. Nothing. Zero amps. Okay. So let's try and charge it. So I've got my desktop power supply. I'll put the minus to the minus. Yeah, this happens to be one that I've sold it up for something. Minus to the minus, plus to the plus. And there's no draw whatsoever. Zero amps. No draw whatsoever. So it is completely dead. So. So it's obviously not a shorted cell. Hmm. It's a difficult one. It's not shorted because if I was to feed uh, something through it a lot of current would draw, a lot of current would be drawing through these now, so it's it's an open circuit it seems, but then if, it, if it's an open circuit how can it be 0 0.4 volts? I don't really know. It's, well, it's got a hell of a lot of resistance in it anyway. So, if you have a quick look at it, it appears to have some sort of liquid or something inside it. Now, I don't know what that is, I assume it could be lithium or lithium grease or something, I don't know. But I'll try and pull this off. <clears throat> I'll see what we can find. It appears to be dry. And there's no smell. Um, well, certainly I can't smell anything. So let's see. So the wet look, there's nothing there. It's not wet, so I don't know what that was. Some sort of... Well, I don't know. There's nothing on there, though. Let's have a look here. There's nothing damp on here, either. 
Now I did see somewhere where there was an imprint. Let's have a look on here. I think it was on this. There was an imprint and I think it said... Yeah, there it is. I don't know if you can see it, but it says Sanyo. Yeah, Sanyo L. It would be better if they um, could print that better, you know, so you could actually read it properly. But anyway, Sanyo, it's got the letter C on it, so I don't really know what that means. But there's the cell anyway. I suppose I could rip this open, but what would be the point? Inside is just a roll of paste, from what I remember. Anyway, so that's my first dead cell. So let me just check the... Let's see if I can give it some voltage. No, there's nothing. Completely dead. So there's my first dead cell. And um, I'm not sure how this happened. Um, I've got no idea. It was in a group of four cells. Um, I super glued them, or tried to super glue them in place, which I've since pulled them off. I've noticed that these three cells are from one group, maybe one battery, and this one was different. I don't know exactly why uh, this one's dead, but there you go. Anyway, so that's my first one, and I'm going to throw this away. I just thought it'd be interesting to show you, uh, or tell you some of the details, that's all. So you can look out for things yourself. Anyways, this is a dead cell. If anyone understands what's going on with this, uh, how it could have died or whatever, just let me know. Thanks, bye.